Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about our company, Propulsion Boards' RKP Complete Mechanical Kit, which is a DIY electric skateboard mechanical kit that includes all the components you'll need to make an awesome, powerful, super reliable electric skateboard drivetrain. This drivetrain was made in collaboration with Boardnamics, a high quality DIY electric skateboard vendor, We'll leave a link to board dynamics in the description below. This drivetrain is also used on our Demon 2.0R electric skateboard completes and kits. We only have about five of these left at the moment, so if you're interested in one, this is our last call for Demon 2.0Rs and Demon 2.0 electric skateboards. So with that information out of the way, let's get into all of the components used in this kit and how to build it. The first component are these extended CNC'd RKP trucks that were made by Boardnamics. The unique part about these trucks are that they have the built-in rear motor mounts similar to a lot of the DKP truck options out there. This makes mounting the motor mount to the rear truck super simple as there's no need to fiddle around with a clamp on motor mount. All you need is a motor plate which gets bolted onto the mount already on the hanger which is super simple, easy, and reliable. These trucks are also super high quality with both the base plates and the hangers being machined from 6061 T6 aluminum. As far as geometry goes, these trucks are extra wide with an overall length of 320mm and an axle length of 50mm. This makes them wide enough to fit up to dual 6384 motors. The trucks sit at 45 degrees and utilize 85A Riptide APS barrel bushings. Next are the motor plates, which are specifically made for the mount on the rear hanger of these trucks. They're machined from 6061 T6 aluminum and are made to fit 63mm motors. Along with the motor mounts, we have these custom made belt covers, which are 3D printed. For the motors, we have dual 6374 170kV motors with a 10mm D shaped shaft. These motors each have a maximum power output of 3,500 watts for a total of 7,000 watts. The first thing to do when assembling the drivetrain is to mount the motor mount to the motor, and this is done by using the four M4 by 8 millimeter cap head bolts and attaching the motor mount to the motor through the threads already in the motor and the slots in the motor mount. The next part that we have is the motor pulley, which is a 10mm D-shaped shaft motor pulley. It's 5mm pitch, 15mm wide, so it's made for 15mm belts. To install the motor pulley on the shaft of the motor, simply slide it over the shaft, and then once it's all the way on the motor shaft, you can use the set screw and some blue Loctite to fix the motor pulley to the motor shaft. Once the motors and motor pulleys have been mounted to the motor mounts, the next step is to mount the motor plate to the truck. This is done by sliding the motor mount over the axle and then using three of the M5 by 16 mm cap hub bolts to bolt the motor plate to the mount already on the truck. Next, an M5 nut is added to every single bolt to lock the motor mount to the plate. The nuts can be tightened all the way down to fully mount the motor mount to the truck. This can be done with an allen key and a wrench or a drill with the proper hex bit and a wrench. The next component are these wheel pulleys, which are the Boardnamics 40 tooth Kegel wheel pulleys. They're CNC machined from 6061 aluminum and they come in two pieces. One part is the Kegel core, which bolts into the wheel, and the other component is the pulley, which attaches to the belt. To build the wheel pulley, all you have to do is insert the M4 by 10 millimeter cap head bolts using some blue or red Loctite, and then bolt them down all the way. It's crucial to use either blue or preferably red Loctite on these bolts, as if they come loose, it's a complete and total failure of the drivetrain, which could be very dangerous. At the moment, we only have Kegel wheel pulleys as an option on the RKP Complete Mechanical Kit, so it's important to ensure that the wheels that you're using are Kegel cord. For the belts, we're using standard 295mm long HTD5 15mm wide timing belts. On the rear axle, we utilize a couple different spacers. The first is this extra wide one, then we put on three speed rings, then we slide the belt over the hanger and the axle, and then we slide the wheel pulley onto the axle and rotate it slowly until the belt aligns into place. At this point, the belts can also be tensioned. 
This is done by pulling the motor back to give the belt some tension, and then feeling the belt with a finger to make sure that it's not too tight but also not too loose. Once the belt has the proper amount of tension, the bolts that hold the motor to the mount can be tightened all the way down using an Allen key. Once this process has been done to both sides, the RKP Complete Mechanical Kit is done and all that's needed is to add your favorite set of Kegel wheels. For instructional purposes, we're going to be mounting the Mad Eskate 105mm wheels. They aren't included with this kit, but they are available separately for purchase on our website propulsionboards.com. Mounting the wheels onto the wheel pulleys is super simple. Simply align the cores up with the spokes on the wheel pulley and pop the wheel into place on the axle. Once your choice of Kegel wheel has been installed, the last step is to install the belt cover. To do this, we use four M4 by 18 millimeter cap head bolts. The belt cover slides right onto the outside of the motor mount and then can be bolted down using these long bolts. So there you guys have it. That is how you build the Propulsion Boards RKP Complete Mechanical Kit. It's super easy to put together. It takes less than an hour and a half, even if you're a beginner, and it only requires an Allen key, Loctite, and a wrench. This kit is an excellent drivetrain option for any new DIYers looking to build their first DIY electric skateboard because it eliminates all of the guesswork that goes in and all of these parts are already compatible. To all Demon 2.0 riders out there, this kit is also an excellent upgrade for your board if you're looking for more stability at higher speeds. These RKP trucks are more stable than the DKPs that come stock on the 2.0. That's all that we have for you guys in this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let us know in the comments section below and we'll make sure to get back to you. If you guys are interested in purchasing the RKP Complete Mechanical Kit, we will have a link to it in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more DIY electric skateboard content. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.